talk about character design in animation today. There's a couple of really easy tips and tricks that you can use to make even more appealing characters for your own movies. The first thing I like to do when I'm designing a character is to do something called thumbnailing and use silhouettes. So thumbnails are just little tiny sketch versions of what you're drawing so that you don't commit to something and draw really, really your best, best drawing and then decide you don't like that character or the sh shapes that you have going on. And then a silhouette is even one step further back. A silhouette is like a blacked out version of just the shapes. There's no detail on it. And most well-drawn animated characters have really identifiable silhouettes. So you could tell who they were even without their actual uh, detail included. So some of the characters might look like this and you would still be able to tell who's who based on the shapes that you see. And that's a good sign of well done character design. Something else to consider when you're drawing your character is who are they? Are they a good guy? Are they a bad guy? Are they there to help? These are things that you can do to help choose the shapes that might best tell your character's story. So good guy characters tend to be rounder and more friendly looking like these guys. And then bad guy characters or characters that are kind of like the antagonist of our story tend to be sharper or a little bit more angular in the way that they look like these guys. These shape choices help tell your story visually before your character even gets a chance to open their mouth. Your audience sees what they look like and makes a guess at who they are. So it's a really good tool to use if you're trying to tell some stories with your animations. The last tip I have for you is vary the size of the shapes that you're drawing. So if you think about Pikachu, he's got kind of a small head, he's got a bigger body and his big tail, and then his ears are kind of medium sized. So when you're designing your character, pick a small shape, a large shape, and a medium shape. This is a pretty good way to vary and make your character more appealing when your audience is watching your movie. And if you think about a couple of your favorite characters, you'll notice that they tend to use that rule. Then when it comes to actually drawing your characters, here's some tips I use in Flip a Clip. So when I draw in Flip a Clip, I like to go to my pen tool. And when I'm first drawing my character, I start off with a nice blue color because that's my sketch color and then I can go over it with a black kind of final outline when I'm ready for it. So I'll start with my character design and let's say I'm just gonna do a really rough version with some super basic shapes and not make it super complicated. Um, so that's my character's head. Maybe I'll lay out kind of where his eyes are gonna exist eventually. My character's body is gonna be the small shape that I use and then my character's legs will kind of be the long shapes that I use. This is a, gonna be a little dainty character. There's a little hand. So when I have a pretty good idea of what my character looks like with my sketch, I can change that pen back to black and then I can add another layer and draw on top of that first layer so that the sketch doesn't get affected and I get to do a little more fine detail drawing. When I've got those shapes kind of laid out and detailed now, I don't need my sketch anymore, so I can just pop into the layers and swipe to delete it. And then I'm left with just my clean line and I can go and start to clean it up from there. So overall, what you wanna do is you wanna keep in mind who is your audience. Are you drawing for a younger crowd that maybe likes colors and really cute characters? Or are you drawing for an older crowd that maybe wants a little more of a serious looking character? With your audience in mind, you can't go wrong and you're gonna make some very, very cool designs using these tips and tricks. Thanks for tuning in and make sure to check into our next videos to see even more animation tips. Bye!